And it's hotter than Satan's toenails in this bitch. What's, What's happening, happening people? people? As you can see by that title, we back with another reaction. Top, Top 10 weirdest and unusual laws around the world. So like most weird laws in, in the, the world. world. So yeah. it's the whole world. It's not the U.S. There's yeah. another video about the U.S. If you want us to watch that one, comment down below. Yeah, we'll do that one as well. We all know about these weird laws. I think I've heard like even in Japan you can't. Uh, dance at dance, a certain time yeah. or something because it's like it's like disrespectful. I don't know if that's still going on. I yeah, think I don't it's know. A new, I think it's a thing that's still happening. Yeah, but maybe or maybe it's old. We don't know. We're gonna find out together, just like y'all. But y'all know the drill by now. Make sure you like this video. Hit that. Please subscribe and then hit the no notification bell. That'll let you know when we post a video every time. Also, make sure you go down in the description and follow all of our social media. Without further ado, let's get into it. The most weirdest laws in the world. Oh, get right into it. Let me start this real quick, y'all. All right. Sorry. Oh, you almost had it. You gotta be quicker than that. Bro. Country's laws are different. Sometimes these laws border on the seriously ridiculous. Really loud. And other times I they know, point right? to important cultural values that might be different than your own. There are lots of rules and laws that we have to follow, but some places around the world have laws that are so strange it's hard to believe they're real, or yeah. even necessary. Yep. Don't take our word for it, check them out. Today, we are going to count down some of the weirdest and unusual laws around the world. Mm -hmm. Starting at number 10, it is illegal to frown in Milan, Italy. What's with the long face? What? Wait, 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 Milan? wait, frown is like sad, right? Yeah, like, you have to smile. That means you gotta be happy. <laughs> But it's illegal. What happens if you do it? Right! The law compels you to smile. It is prescribed by a city regulation from Austro-Hungarian times that was never repealed. What this is one is just odd. It's illegal to frown unless you're at a funeral or hospital visit. Otherwise, you should be smiling. Although travel websites often report this law, it isn't commonly enforced. It's what? unlikely you're going to get fined for So them. basically, if somebody died, you could, you could frown and that's about it. Basically. And if somebody it... broke up with you, you gotta... If you frown after <laughs> if you frown after a breakup, you gotta pay a fine. That sucks. It's like you just got broke up with, and now you gotta pay a fine too. I know, That's right? cheeks. Damn. This one, but Milan has a law that requires people to smile. So turn that frown upside down the next time you're in Italy's fashion capital. Now I know wow. where not to go. From that is the fashion Number capital. Nine, chewing gums are banned in Singapore. Singapore's wow. ban on the sale of chewing gum is possibly the most internationally well-known law in the world. Wait, wait, it... wait. It makes a lot of sense because Singapore, I think, is one of the most cleanest um, countries in the world. Like, they have a whole system where it comes to their waste where they, they take their waste and then they put it in, like, a, instead of throwing it into, like, landfills or, like, the water, like the they actually put it into a facility where it turns into renewable... In, like an energy or something. Yeah, right? renewable yeah. energy and stuff. So I, that, that's pretty interesting. I can believe that. That's, yeah. that's, that's, banned chewing gum I can anyway. see that. Right? Sometimes yeah. we all suffer when fools break the rules. Oh, After see. vandals Yo, use chewing gum to get the mass rapid transit system, the housing and development board spent $150,000 a year to clean gum litter. Singapore banned all gum substances in 1992. Anyone importing, selling, or making gum that's exactly why they don't have it. See? Find and or jail time. It'd be under everything too. Toilets, doors, tables, chairs. Next is number eight. It is illegal to forget your wife's birthday. No way! This one is great for all the wives who crib about husbands forgetting dates. With a who the way, I just... Samoa, Bro, that's sure crazy. I mean, I would never forget anyway. You will get more than silent treatment for your wife if you forget. So you, so you basically so. can't be an ancient ass husband. You gotta be on point. It, it's like yo. You gotta be a good, good, good. Damn, that's crazy. They got a whole law to. Cause Not even. The funny thing is, they, they, they completely ducked it. You don't even gotta be a good husband. They just said, you know what? You don't gotta be a good husband, but you gonna remember her birthday. That's true. <laughs> that don't like mean, you that gonna, don't mean that. You gonna pay on the you're one right. day. You right. <laughs> it is unclear how long your sentence would be, but maybe sometime apart. Damn. Yeah, so if she was really petty enough, she'd be like, yeah, he forgot my damn birthday. Come get him. Yep. Come get him. He forgot. He forgot. Like, that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, <laughs> you'll be SOL. Get his ass. Get his ass. Look. Like, Think about how to make it up to her. Wouldn't be too bad. 
Number seven. You cannot be overweight in Japan. Wow, that's messed up. That's what? Messed up. What? Wait, that's wait, not wait. right. No, that's not right. Wait, I'm really trying to think. Like, have we? Have you ever seen like a heavy, a heavy J Japanese person? I haven't. I've seen Chinese. I've seen big Chinese dudes and Filipinos. Sorry, I don't mean to sound like. What, do I sound? No. I've it's seen, true. Yeah, I've seen like you know those type of bigger people, but well, what Japanese. If, what if you already big and then you happen to go to Japan? Are they gonna tell you no, go home? <laughs> You like, too fat. You can't come. Yo, in. you you paid your you, way. You packed your bag. <laughs> you got your passport. You wait, go all the way. Wait, what if they make you get on a weight on a on, weight on a just scale. Like, on a scale, just like they on they make the the yeah. um the suitcases. You so be like you exceeded the. Look. You like the scene in Norbit. You remember that? But yeah. she got on the scale for the for yeah. the water slide. Yeah. They oh do, my yo, god. Yo, they do that. Come on, Japan. Oh man, that's messed up. Obesity rates I know I fit the, 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 the classification, low, but still, that's not right. To Western countries. I got some fat family. Diet you gotta be better than that. For its healthiness. Word. And it's uncommon to own a car in urban areas. Save for sumo wrestlers, Japan... Not for nothing, though. I've never... Even in these little clips, I've never seen a fat Japanese person. That's what I'm saying. Like, I really... In I've real life, too, it. like, usually it's... The Chi usually they're either Chinese or Filipino. Or like Vietnamese or like another yeah, you, Asian. You don't see them like that. To have an annual waste measurement performed you got two belly buttons. Metabolism is essentially a preventative measure. <laughs> they have a they have a the doctor that measures them. Tabo Look. law. This requires people between the ages of 40 to 74 to have an annual waste measurement performed at the doctor. Oh, that's messed the up. The law is essentially a preventative measure. The Japanese government established the strategy to keep obesity rates low. Fines will be incurred if men have waists over 33.5 inches or 35.4 wow. inches for women. So they give you fines if you fat. Next is number six. That's wow. crazy. If you're in Italy, you must walk your dog three times a day or face a fine. What? Italy considers itself an animal-loving nature. Bro, they have a whole law for dogs. What? Blue. We're going to Italy. It's funny. As soon as we said there's a law for dogs, our dog immediately stopped chewing. She was like, what? We're, we're going? We're going to Italy. They have a whole... You gotta walk them three times a day. Wow. That's... that's that, honestly, I support that. That's the most just one and next to the bubblegum one so far. Because some people have their dogs all dog cooped up in the house, like, day all day. Like, like that's messed up. Some people up don't walk 500 them euros. at all. To You're supposed to take your dog on walks. Or at least give them outdoors time. And it don't matter the size. For those of you that like to be petty, oh, I have a small dog, so I Yes, you do. Or at it least doesn't like, matter the size. They all got to walk. The small ones, you don't even have to do much. You can go around the block. They don't need but five minutes. Yes. Because they get if tired you, easy. But if you have a big dog. Oh, yeah. I'm talking. When I say big dog, I mean if your dog has 40 pounds, you got to be at least walking 30 minutes a day, bro. Do y'all hear that noise? 30 to an hour. You finished? All right. <laughs> Anyway, um, wow, this is like the only one that I see that actually makes sense. The most stringent animal so protection rules in the country. It's they like I see the overweight, but that's kind of messed up. Yeah. Fish and bags. People will that's also really be banned up. from dyeing their pet's fur or any form of animal mutilation oh, yeah, for merely aesthetic motives, such as docking dogs' tails. Oh under God. the law about to be passed in the northern Italy city. So, no pink poodles here. Number five. Is it illegal to change the light bulb in Australia? Huh? Okay, we know this sounds a bit ridiculous. It Why does. would it be illegal to change a light bulb? Surely that's a joke. Under Victorian law, changing a light bulb without a valid license to do so was against the law. What the heck? Taking your light into your own hands brought a fine of 10 Australian dollars. What? However, a revision to the 1998 Electricity Safety Act updated this law. A spokeswoman for Energy Safe Victoria said that while the Electricity Safety Act makes it illegal to do your own electrical work if you are not licensed, Changing a light bulb and removing a plug from a socket were specifically exempted from this requirement under order in Council G-17. I don't get it. Next is so, number four. So that's not even, that's old then. That had to be old. Yeah, Married women in Bolivia can only be served one glass of wine. If you're a single woman in La Paz, Bolivia, drink what? up. But if you're... What's stopping them from taking the ring off? What? Only one glass of wine? Cause bro, I know that ain't right. Yeah, or Mary, one it's just glass? one glass of wine for you. This law is I only relevant why. in public establishments. Mm -hmm. There is little else known about the origins of the law, except that it was created to prevent the men from receiving unwanted flirtation from women. 
Even though this sexist law has been protested <laughs> over the years, it can still be cited according what? to the law as ground for divorce. However, it has rarely ever been successfully enacted as grounds for divorce. Meanwhile, we gotta deal with the flirtation regardless. <laughs> no liquor! Down to number three. Swearing is a no-no in UAE. Dubai oh, United is very conservative Arab when it comes Emirates. to bad language. Oh, Swearing, wow. profanities, insults, and all kind of vulgar language are considered obscene acts, as is making rude gestures. And offenders wow. can be fined or jailed. Oh, so you can't Under even... Article 373 of the UAE Penal Code, Straight swearing disgraces the honor or the modesty of a person. This isn't just for saying the inappropriate words aloud. It includes indecent physical gestures and... Right to jail. And extends to your text messages and social media as well. Text messages? Not even indecent emojis are allowed. Ooh. If you have a potty mouth, be sure it's in check before you visit. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I would, I would need to really watch myself before I go there. Because I not. have a little bit of a potty mouth. It's looking like I'm not going. But I want to go there. It's so beautiful there. The whole thing is that it won't be me. If they're saying, oh, yeah, your social media and your text, I get one text from my brother, nigga. It's over. <laughs> But we don't even know. We don't even know if they have access to like all social medias and stuff. There That's too. True. But still, you see my point. Yeah. It wouldn't be me. It would be the people I know. They would text but me knowing probably, I'm there, trying to be funny. They, they probably don't even know what that is. <laughs> Number two, you cannot die without pre-purchased burial plot in Sarpuens, France. Bitch, what if I do die? <laughs> like, how you gonna say you? Oh, it's like imagine you shot dying. Oh no, you can't die. You gotta purchase burial plot. Like what? You're dying already if someone no says No one can control that. Like yeah, that no. is the weirdest thing ever. <laughs> no, Something don't die. You gotta anymore. purchase this. But in two thousand eight the mayor of the French village of Sukarns oh issued a decree banning residents from dying in his territory unless they owned a spot in the overcrowded cemetery. How do you he ban someone, someone from dying? I'm telling you. Wait, the don't die. <laughs> but wait, wait there's more <laughs> The mayor of Sakaar issued a statement saying all That's persons exactly what they not having a right. the You dying and they like, well, this ain't it. Forbidden you still from dying got more. Offenders will be severely punished. Offenders what kind of punishment you give the dead, however, is of yet unclear. That's what I'm saying. How can you How punish, you punish someone, someone that's already dead? Excuse me. Finally, we're the last on number one. one. It is illegal to climb a tree in Canada. Like any tree? You think you can just climb a tree in Canada? Why not? There are a lot of them, right? Expect to pay a hefty fine if you get caught doing Damn, so anywhere why? in the province of Ontario. I wonder if it's even possible to obtain a permit. It would be funny to apply to Toronto Parks for one and see what happens. In 2013, you need a permit one to climb a young tree climbing enthusiast earned himself a $365 ticket for Drake, climbing I one see at you do it. Square Park. <laughs> Globally, laws range from the weird and wonderful to the downright peculiar. Okay. No stealing, no vandalizing, no He's a boy, he's the he's We the... all think we know the law. But the rules you think are most very I was climbing to the In some trees. countries, the most innocuous acts, such what? as I was water, stepping on money, six. could land you with a fine mm -hmm. or even a lengthy jail sentence. Okay, that is it for today's video. That was just too much. That last one killed me. <laughs> yeah, for real. That last one killed me. I feel like that wasn't even the weirdest one. It shouldn't, it shouldn't have even been the number one. I feel like that was more like the last one. That was an interesting video. I know they have more, so we can definitely watch other ones that they have. Maybe um, like crazy laws that exist. Like I, I have seen other videos. So if you want to see more of those, make sure you comment down below. Comment if you saw something that you found unusual or something you can relate to if you've been to the country. She's trying to hump him. Come oh on, bro. Hey, down. Down. All right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyways, make sure you guys like this video. You know, if you enjoyed it, we would appreciate that. If you just smash that like button. Also, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm going to keep repeating it. You're going gonna to get tired of me. I'm going to keep saying it, but subscribe. And also, make sure you hit the notification bell so you know every time we post a video. If you like reactions, if you want to know every time you, we, you know, we post one, Make sure you stay notified, baby. Stay notified. Exactly. Stay notified. <laughs> also, make sure you follow all of our social media down below. If you want to send us videos personally, you know, videos that you watched or videos that you see that you want to see our opinion on, our opinions on, you can send it to us also on our social media or comment the link down below. Good alone. But better together. Y'all know the vibes, man. Peace we out, y'all. We'll catch y'all on the next one. Come and vibe with me.